excited is an understatement. It was just so emotional. You know, it was just uh, a lot of a nearly a lifetime of work to get to a point like this. And I never, I didn't think, I just never imagined it being on this scale with Jordan Peele. And just being in a Jordan Peele movie is insane. And I just remember when I, I got the job, it was just so emotional. And then there was a point where I was like, I need to film it. And I need to do this opportunity and I, I better deliver. So there was definitely those sweaty moments of like, oh, he's putting a lot of trust in me right now to be one of the leads with all these people. Uh, Daniel Kaluuya, Kiki Palmer, Steven Yeun, and Michael Wincott, and he's making me, all right, let's do it, let's do it. I'm here, I'm ready. Angel is a person that works at Fry's Electronics uh, who's going through a breakup and is a little depressed and is kind of lost and looking for purpose and uh, comes across two characters and they kind of present an opportunity that he would love to be a part of, so he does anything he can to be a part of it. Angel's just knowledgeable in a lot of random things. He's kind of that type of dude where he's knowledgeable in metal music, uh, video games, films, and uh, aliens. And he's just that dude that's chilling back, listening to a podcast, smoking a little bit, having a good time, and just trying to learn. He's just wired like that. A little tech savvy, not as much as Angel for sure. My my older brother is definitely the tech savvy one. And my little brother too. They both build computers for fun. And I, I don't know how it can be fun to do that. I just want the computer built and in a box that I can just open and press start and it works. <laughs> Incredible to just be sitting across from people I look up to. You know, those are artists that I've been watching their work since I was a kid. I, I was watching Kiki growing up while like watching the kid shows that Kiki was doing. And then I grew up watching the show Skins with Daniel and he was a writer on that as a teenager. Um, and now seeing where they've gone in their careers where Kiki's winning Emmys, Daniel's winning Oscars, like it's just insane that they're just on this trajectory right now. And to be a part of something that they're in at this stage of their career, is incredible. I, I've learned so much from them and they inspire me all the time and I'm just learning every day. Jordan is just so collaborative and you just wouldn't expect that from someone who's so detailed. All his films are very detailed so you'd expect the director to kind of be like, I need this and I need that. Jordan's more, how do you feel? And that's what I absorbed from him. He just kept asking how I feel, what I think and um, yeah, we, he was just so generous in that way of being so collaborative and making sure that we as the actors felt comfortable as well, and he really kept us as collaborators, not just, he's a navigator. He guides us to where we need to go, and if we're confused, he'll help us get there. And he's just really, really great at collaborating. That's, that's what I learned, for sure. Jordan's great at kind of crafting stories that have a lot of messages and metaphors, but he brings it to a grounded place where you forget that you're watching a movie. You know, he, he grabs the performers that can really bring it to a human level. And I think that's one of Jordan's specialties is that's what really makes people attached to his films and they really absorb the messages because it can be a UFO story, but there's so much human story in this as well. There's people that are going through trauma and you kind of go through the journey of how they're experiencing and how they're kind of just reacting to their trauma with this big spectacle. And he's he's just dropping, and, and this film is less, direct on the nose of what he's trying to get you to do like get out's very direct of the message and then us is um direct with the message but it takes like a little route to get to that direct message and this i feel like there's a million messages and i think he probably did that purposely so people can walk away from it with many messages and can go back to the theater to watch it as well you know i feel like this is a film and most of his films are all just you have to go watch it again. You're gonna find new things within it. He's that detailed. We have Hoyt of Entertainment on the lens. Like it's insane what he's able to do. That's a master of his cra uh, master of his craft. Um, and you give him a ranch with that type of view, that stunning view. It's incredible. And Jordan uh, has gotten himself to this point in his career where he can get that. You know, he he wrote the script based off the location. Like he went to the location, absorbed it, and started writing about it. And that's. That's an incredible feat and I learned a lot from that. Um, but yeah, he's so generous to the actors where he really gives you the space to bring it down to a real level where it's, there's not, he doesn't give you much imagination. He, does, he doesn't force you to imagine a lot of things. He gives you a lot of things so you can just play naturally and brings it to that grounded level. And um, yeah, he's just very generous in that way. He'll get you what you need and I'm so thankful for that.